Hey guys, good afternoon. Um, I've been trying to kind of touch base with this page every day and, and make a post or something. Um, this morning I had kind of a um, my second interview for uh, like a remote job that I'm applying for, which I'm still doing my, my regular um, my little home business that I'm doing, but this would be, you know, something with benefits and things like that. And that's something that has opened up opportunities, even though COVID's been horrible, you know, to deal with for the past few years, um, last past two years, I guess, um, you know, that has been kind of an advantage, I think, for a lot of us who deal with chronic illness, and it's hard for us to go into the office every day. It's hard for us to um, stand for long periods of time. It's, but it's, it's opened up a lot of opportunity um, as far as being able to work remotely from home. So, I'm going to make my try at this and, um, but it's, we'll see. So, but it's a, it's a steady job income. Um, my home business is, you know, it's up and down and depends on, and it's very physically demanding. Um, and this would be more of a kind of an office type thing. And I'm still going to continue with my regular business, but with the help of my, my kids and uh, my husband, and we're going to make some changes to kind of, you know, schedule it a little better and stuff like that. But a job with some benefits for the first time would be great, you know, in years. So that would be great. But anyways, so there's that going on. But um, over the past few weeks, I've been really dealing with a family situation. It's been kind of difficult. Um, and that's something I really can't discuss a lot about because um, it has to do with, you know, their personal thing. But I had to be present in that person's life and kind of take charge of of their household and um and and do that every day um it was very physically mentally and spiritually um it was demanding and um i came out alive <laughs> and i think that i learned a lot from it um i learned a lot about myself I learned a lot about mental health in general, um, but but for myself, I sat down the other night and was just kind of, um, I like to journal so that I, I don't forget things. I have a, not the greatest memory anymore. Um, I don't know if that's fire miles or if that's, you know, just age, but, um, but anyways, I like to, to kind of write things down and, and, you know, so I kind of came up with the five P's. So here we go. Um, one is pacing. I learned that, I mean, we all know that pacing is so very important um, because if you overdo yourself and you have those days where you don't get a lot done, but then you have a good day and it's like, well, let's do it all. And then the rest of the week is, is just shot. So um, pacing is so very important for us. Pushing. It's important to push. It's important to push yourself it feels so good to push sometimes because you can see that you can do it. I mean, you don't want to push so bad that you end up in a flare up, but it's important to push yourself, to challenge yourself. And I try to do that daily. Um, sometimes it's successful. It, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's successful and sometimes it's not so successful, but either way you gave it a try. It's better to try and fail than to not try at all and not know. So pushing, um, perspective, <laughs> I can't even tell you how important perspective is. Is your glass half empty or half full? You know, the old, you know, the old saying, is your glass half, you know, empty or half full? If you think about the empty all the time and you focus on the empty all the time, all you're going to see is empty. You're never going to see how full it is. Um, you're always going to, you're always going to be thirsty because you think it's, you, you're empty. Um, so, Look at your blessings, even if they're little teeny tiny ones and there's a whole big mess going on. Think of those little teeny tiny blessings. And I know sometimes it's really, really hard to do that, but it has a lot to do with just your perspective. You know, even if the sun's not shining, think about a sunny day. Um, I know it sounds corny, but it's important. It's very important. Perspective for me is a make it or break it type thing if I have a bad perspective and a bad attitude about something and times can get tough and it can get bad to where I wonder if I'm ever going to pull out of a flare sometimes um 
it gets depressing. But you have to know that there's going to be an end to that flare. There's there's going to be a better day. There is. Um, the next one, which is huge, is prayer. For me, prayer is not so much for myself, honestly. Um, I'm kind of a... I'm a person who takes care of others. I take care of my kids. I take care of my husband. I take care of, you know, I... I I like to take care of my mother, my sisters, um, my friends. I'm, you know, I've just, I guess I have one of those personalities. Um, I'm just kind of, when I worked at school, they called me Mama Goins because I wanted to, I wanted to sew everybody's little, you know, little tears in their shirts or, you know, help them out with whatever. But um, I'm kind of a mama. And so I like to take care of others. Um, so prayer for me, of course, you know, I pray for strength and things like that, but I can't physically go out and help a lot. I can't, you know, cook a meal all the time. I can't, you know, go help clean somebody's house or something, but prayer is an active way of, of me being able to help others. So, and that makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm able to help somebody do, you know, see what I'm saying? So prayer is is very important i like to try to stay as close to god as i can the next thing and the final thing and it's the hardest thing sometimes is peace it's important to be at peace um people will say things you'll have a bad day you hold a grudge someone does something against you um it doesn't mean that they didn't do it and it doesn't mean that it's okay it means that you forgive them it means that you forgive yourself and it means that you allow yourself to have that peace you see what i'm saying so and that's something that i really learned over the past couple weeks is really freeing and it's if you're not at peace you're in conflict and conflict is like ignition for a flare up. Um, if you are just peace, it's important to have that peace. Like I said, it doesn't mean it's right or wrong and it doesn't mean that you're weak. It just means that you're strong enough to let yourself have peace and forgiveness. And I think people have a hard time with understanding exactly what forgiveness is. And, you know, of course, you know, God in the Bible tells us that it's important to forgive. You know, it's like a commandment. <laughs> it's like a serious one, but it's really hard. It's really hard. And I think a big part of that is forgiving myself, forgiving myself I'm hard on myself. So basically knock out that negativity, pray a lot, forgive and have peace, pace yourself and have a really good perspective. So a lot of peace there, <laughs> but I tell you what, it helps a lot. And I'll, I'll talk more, you know, about this or, you know, write little things about this. Um, but also, hey, another P, planting. So right now it's springtime and we started up late because I was out of town. Um, you know, I was ready to go like a few weeks ago. But um, so we're a little late again this year, but I have a lot of good stuff happening. So um, very therapeutic day yesterday in the sunshine, lots of vitamin D. Um I'm a little sore from it today, but it's a good sore. It's not like a like a flare up sore, but um but anyway, so video is always so supposed to be short and it ends up being long every time. So <laughs> I have a lot to talk about. I have a gift to gab, I guess. But I hope everybody's doing well. If there's anything I can ever do to help or assist or whatever, just let me know. Appreciate you and have a great day. Bye. -bye.